Growing up in Liberty City in Miami, my life was filled with music and church. Then I discovered my passion for dance in middle school at an early performance, which was life-changing. Simon and Schuster in 2015 published My Story, My Dance, which highlights how seeing Alvin Ailey's masterpiece, Revelations, led me into a new world and to becoming the person I am today. Having a children's book based upon my life's journey is so meaningful, and I hope it will continue to encourage young dreamers around the country. It is my pleasure to introduce a special reading of this book with two young dreamers from our Ailey camps. Thank you and enjoy. Hello, my name is Janka and I am a camper from Children's Aid Ailey Camp, New York. Hi, I'm Kyla and I'm from Ailey Camp, Kansas City. And today, I'll be reading My Story, My Dance. Robert Battle's Journey to Alvin Ailey. It was a blue sky Sunday on the day he was born. Hot Jacksonville sun greeted a brown skinned, bright eyed, bow legged boy named Robert. Times were tough for Robert's mama, Marie. When Robert was, as Uncle Wade described, no bigger than a loaf of bread, he and Aunt Anna took Robert in. When Aunt Anna became sick, the three of them packed up and headed south to Miami to be closer to Anna and Willie's daughter, Robert's cousin, Desi. In a little house in the Liberty City neighborhood, Desi was waiting with a down-home family welcome. On Sundays in the choir stand, Robert sang like a bird in his sweet soprano, while Mama Desi played hymns on the piano. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. The heavy metal braces he wore to straighten his legs slowed Robert to a stop. Trying to walk, he fell down time and again until finally, his legs got straighter and stronger. His living room floor became a stage, lit with the smiles of his Uncle Willie and Mama Desi. The world is a stage, he sang in his best Broadway voice. The stage is a world of entertainment. As a freshman at Miami Northwestern High School, Robert signed up for the after-school dance program. He'd been dancing for two years at the Arts Center and he knew that most dancers started training before they were five years old. In his classes, Robert was the first to arrive and the last to leave. He knew he had a lot of catching up to do. Robert boarded the bus with his dance class. They were on their way to see a dance company performing in Miami Beach. Once they were settled in their seats and the lights were dimmed, Robert's eyes never left the stage. In piece after piece, dancers in all shades of brown moved powerfully, gracefully, across the stage. And when the revelations finale began, they all moved as one to a mournful spiritual. Rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rock of my soul. In the Alvin Ailey Dance Company, Robert saw his past and his future, and he saw himself. In his final year at New Road, He'd audition for and received a full scholarship to the school he'd only read about in dance magazines. His mama Desi sat in the car, waiting to take him to the airport. Robert was off to New York to dance at the Juilliard School. Robert told his story in the pieces he created and in his own dance performances. He choreographed The Hunt, where dancers kicked and chopped like he had long ago in karate class. Inside captured all his fears as a young boy in Liberty City. And in Strange Humors, the Dancer's Falls told the story of all the nights his leg braces had made it difficult to walk. Judith Jamison was the artistic director of Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater when she saw Robert's Mood Indigo, and she wanted her own company to feature it. Robert's future lay with Ailey. 10 years and 11 dances later, Robert began as the new artistic director of Alvin Ailey. 
as Robert stepped on stage at the crowded theater on July 1st, 2011. Robert stepped forward, opened his arms to the audience, and welcomed each and everyone like family. Once again, I'm Kyla, and I'm from Ailey Camp, Kansas City. My name is Chanka, and I want to thank, thank you, you for, listening for listening to, to Robert, Robert Battle's, Battle's story. story. My story, my dance. Oh, rock my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul.